Hello, my dear students. How are you? Hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Here I am Roxana Fatima, your English teacher of English department, Government Haji Muhammad Mohsin College. Welcome to online class conducted by Government Haji Muhammad Mohsin College, Chattogon. Today. I'll discuss the lesson 2 of unit 9. The title is Bangla Town in East London. After completing the lesson, the learning outcomes are you can summarize the text, you will get knowledge about Bangla Town. You will learn vocabularies. You can answer the questions from the passage. Then you can practice all exercises from the lesson. Before starting the text, let's see uh, let's see two pictures here. There are two pictures you can see on the screen. In the first picture, there is a stall named Shantir Voy. The name written in both Bangla and English. This stall is in London. Then come to the next picture. It is a street sign in London that is Brick Lane, both, uh, written both in English and Bangla. So don't you feel interesting about the pictures? In London, the signs are written both in Bangla and English. Yes, we will learn about these interesting uh, pictures from the text. So come to the text. British Bangladeshis, also known as British Bengalis, are in are an important part of the Bangladeshi diaspora or those of Bangladeshi origin who are living abroad. That means British Bangladeshis are people of Bangladeshi origin who have attained citizenship in the United Kingdom through immigration. Almost half of all British Bangladeshis live in London, especially in the East London borough of which Tower Hamlets has the highest concentration. The largest concentration live in East London, such as Tower Hamlet. Today, a tourist who is new to London may well decide to make her way over, the, over to the east end of the city to visit Bangla Town. That means if a tourist who is new to London can decide to visit the east end of the city to visit Bangla town. After exiting the tube station there she might follow the signs that point to Brick Lane, a street that has gained certain notoriety from Monica Ali's best-selling novel of the same name which was also made into a movie. So, dear students, before starting the text, uh, you got the picture of Brick Lane. Brick Lane is a street in the east end of the 
of London in the borough of Tower Hamlets. Borough means here a uh, town or district which is an administrative unit. Arthat e no gore poro shoba ache. So, uh, you also find the name Monica Ali. Monica, Monica Ali is a uh, Bangladeshi born British writer. She is a um, British novelist. She wrote uh, the novel Brick Lane. Her Brick Lane was shortlisted for the uh, Man Broker Prize. So Brick Lane is, uh, is about a woman named uh, Nazneen. If you want to know why the street got notoriety, her notoriety mean, means this fame. Why uh, this Brick Lane uh, got notoriety? If you want to know, uh, you should go to go Google and search about it and learn it about it. So come to the next line. Uh, she may decide to try out one of the many Bangladeshi restaurants she sees there for lunch. That means, that means if the tourists like to have meal have lunch she can select a table beside a window so that she can uh, sorry mm, yes uh, many uh, she sees there for lunch sitting at one of the uh, table with a window onto the street she might notice that the street signs are not just in Bangladeshi flag that means if the tourist likes to have meal uh, have lunch she can select a table beside window so that she can enjoy the outside she might notice that the street signs are not not in uh, English but also in Bengali so that she uh, if she sits beside a window she can notice that uh, the street signs are written in both Bangla and English And the lamp posts are in green and red, the colors of Bangladeshi flag. So the, uh, she, she can find that she, the lamp post color are red and green, the color of our flag, you know. In fact, everywhere she looks, she finds visual cues of the Bangladeshi and even more especially the celery presence in the area. There she'll find everywhere Bangladeshi presence, especially celery presence. You know that uh, celeries are uh, more prone to go to London. Storefronts advertise flights from London to Sealet, some on Bangladeshi Biman, uh, the National Airlines of Bangladesh, and others on uh, Yar Sealet, a private airline company formed by British Bangladeshis. So uh, then she can notice some uh, store storefront advertise like flight from London to Sealet, uh, Bangladeshi Biman, etc. formed by British Bangladeshis. There is a sign for Shunali Bank, the major state-owned commercial bank of Bangladesh. There, uh, there she also find uh, the sign of uh, Shunali Bank. Uh, our Bangladeshi bank there is a food store advertising frozen fish from Silet Shurma River they are also uh, advertising a frozen fish from Silet Shurma River uh, Shurma River is in Silet she watches she watches two elderly men with long gray beard enter the store they're dressed in long white tunics baggy pants and white hat caps 
she sees a group of teenage girls walking down the street in animated conversation one is dressed in a black burqa and the other are others are in jeans and long shirts along with bright sequenced hijabs on their heads that means uh, she can notice uh, 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 the tourist can get, will get the people of bangladeshis with bangladeshi getups looking through her london guidebook she reads about how this neighborhood is in bangla town that means following uh, her london guidebook she will learn about the neighborhood there In 2001 British Bangladeshi leader including many of the second generation activists laid a successful bid via the Tower Hamlet Council to gain the official designation of Bangla town for Brick Lane and its surrounding neighborhood So dear students there are uh, British Bangladeshi leader in 2001 uh, they played an important role to gain the official advert, uh, 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 designation of bangla town uh, for brick lane and its surrounding neighborhood with the help uh, with the help of street signs and an advertising campaign the hope was to give the area a distinct cultural identity that would be attractive to tourists and thus beneficial for bangladeshi businesses located there that means uh, the tourists and the bangladeshi businesses located there were being helped by these signs and advertising and this uh, were also giving the place um uh uh were being uh, these signs are uh, this uh, were also giving the place a distinctive cultural identity then um, in fact the area has a number of visible bangladeshi landmarks uh, such as altabali park the kobi nazrul cultural center and the shohid minar monuments there uh, you are, uh, the tourist uh, can also visit uh, altabali park the kobi nazrul cultural center and the shohid minar monument along with the official designation of bangla town these landmarks are matters of considerable pride for many british bangladeshi symbol of their hard won presence and political voice in uh, britain so these landmarks uh, plays important role for the british bangladeshi uh, and these are symbol of their hard won presence and political voice in britain and um, these are also a matter of proud for them so dear students that's that's the uh, that's all today hope you got knowledge about bangla town uh, in east london next uh, uh, we will uh, learn about some vocabularies you found this vocabularies in the text so first of all uh, first we can see we can see the origin origin means uh, beginning root emergence then borrow uh, i already discussed that this word in your text that means district urban area municipality then concentration means attention absorption the notoriety means in fame ill repute disgrace then cues cues means clue hint signal then tunic tunic means long shirt coat uh, uh, bid bid means offer request proposal then distinct distinct means different specific clear landmark landmark means milestone monument marker hard one means difficult ambitious saver 
hope you'll note down uh, this uh, this vocabularies let's see some questions uh, what do most where do most british bangladeshis live where is bangla town situated what is the name of monica ali's novel and the film made based on it what are some signs and symbols of bangladesh to be found in the brick lane area which river is the uh, frozen fish mentioned in the passage from so uh, hope uh, you will note down the question and you will answer the uh, answer of these questions in your own words then uh, you also uh, make a summary uh, on this text about this text please uh, you will uh, try to uh, write a summary on this about this uh, on this text so that's all today uh, hope you got uh, knowledge about bangla town in london uh so uh, uh hope you are all uh, you are you will stay safe uh, wear mask uh, maintain social distance thank you goodbye